Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu hinted at launching an offensive in Rafah, emphasizing he would put military pressure on Hamas within the next few days to rescue his country's hostages. Ethan Dasmore. During his Passover speech on Sunday, Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu announced that he would put military pressure on Hamas within the next few days to rescue Israeli hostages. The Israeli Prime Minister said that Hamas has rejected all offers to release hostages, adding that the military group has not backed down from its extreme positions. According to Netanyahu, military action is the only solution to rescue hostages. Therefore, we will land additional painful blows on it, and it will happen soon. In the coming days, we'll increase the military and political pressure on Hamas, because this is the only way to free our hostages and achieve our victory. While Netanyahu's remarks don't confirm the start of an operation in Rafah, the Times of Israel reported that the Israeli Army Chief of Staff approved a battle plan for the Southern Command on Sunday. Israel believes that the Hamas leadership is hiding in the Rafah region and that a military operation to enter Rafah is essential to end the war. However, the international community, including the United States, have been trying to deter Israel from taking such action, saying that an offensive in Rafah, where about 1.4 million Palestinian refugees have gathered, could lead to huge losses of civilian lives. Meanwhile, nearly 200 bodies were discovered in a mass grave inside Nasser Hospital compound in Khan Yunis. Palestinian authorities say the Israeli military is responsible for the mass grave, which included bodies of elderly women, children and young men. The discovery follows another mass grave found at Al-Shifa Hospital last week. More than 34,000 Palestinians have been killed in Gaza since the war began over six months ago. Isengje, Arirang News.